Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to my brand new Swift 4 series. In these series of videos, I'm going to cover everything there is to Swift, from the basics, you know, variables, data types, loops, control statements, to more complicated stuff like functions and object-oriented programming. By the end of the series, you guys will have understood almost all there is to Swift, and after that, you can dive into iOS development and have a lot of fun there. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to write Swift and, you know, understand Swift is going to be Xcode. And the version of Xcode that supports Swift 4 is Xcode 9, which has not been released to public yet. Now, if you are an Apple developer and you have a developer account, you can go ahead and check out developer.apple.com and download Xcode 4, Xcode 9, Swift 4, upgrade your Mac OS, all of that from the developer account. However, for most of you, you're probably not going to be a developer just yet. So instead of what I'd suggest is go ahead and check out the App Store and over here, search for Xcode. Now, hopefully by the time you're watching this, Xcode 9 has been released, so you can go ahead and download that, but just download the latest version of Xcode, whatever that is. No matter what version you have, all the code that I'll be writing throughout this series will work, it will function, so there shouldn't be a problem. So go ahead and download this. Again, it is a big file, about five gigs, but go ahead and do that. And I'll be using Xcode beta right now because I do have the latest version, but for you, once the Xcode has been downloaded, go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Xcode, which is beta for me. And now once you see the screen, we're going to go ahead and give it a few seconds. Awesome. We're going to write all our code in a playground. So Apple introduced playgrounds and playgrounds are a very, very fun and effective way to write Swift. You can test out code. You can write code. It's honestly great. Again, you notice my version 9.0. Don't worry what version you have, it's okay. Just go ahead and click get started with the playground. Now, your screen might look a bit different, but just make sure that you're creating a blank playground and hit next. And then it's gonna ask you for the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this learning swift.playground and hit create. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and a couple of things you're gonna notice right away. One, my text is a bit big and two, my theme. So I know for a lot of you, you guys might not like the basic white theme that Xcode comes with. So go ahead and click on Xcode preferences, and then you can change your theme in the fonts and colors tab of preferences. So again, I'm using dusk. You probably might see basic or default. Go ahead and try dusk out. Dusk is really nice, especially if you're a late night programmer who is going to be writing a lot of code when it's dark. This is very nice on the eyes. Now a little bit about the playground. All the code you write is going to be over here on this sort of darker shade of black. On the right hand side, which is a bit lighter, this is where the code is executed and something is printed out. So when you say var str is equal to hello playground, it shows that, hey, hello playground has been, or a variable has been created. Again, we'll cover more of this in the next lecture. But just to show you what's happening, go ahead and type with me, print hello world. Any programming language you'll learn, guys, this is gonna be the first statement you ever type and take a look, we have hello world printed out right over here. Fantastic. So that's it for this lecture. Again, all we did is we installed Xcode, we understood the playground, we changed our preferences a bit, and in the next few lectures, we'll learn all there is to Swift 4. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.